Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Ron Dittmars talking to you from the recording studios of the Erasmus Academy in Brooklyn, New York. And this is uh, you're uh, tuned into another daily portion of German. Just one second. And uh, we have with us today um, Terry, who's who's online. Terry, you want to say hello? Hello, everyone. <laughs> Great. Okay. So this is a continuation of the the passage from Ernst Trelch, and I'm just going to skip up so you can see the. Um, the title here, this is the title, <clears throat> Die Dogmatik der Religionsgeschichtlichen Schule uh, by Ernst Trelch, uh, written in 1913. <clears throat> Very important essay. Okay, so uh, and we, the way we, we will do this, as always, is I'll read some out loud, and then Terry will re repeat after me. And then uh, you should all repeat uh, or read the sentence with Terry. And then I'll ask her uh, from time to time questions, and we'll analyze the sentence, take apart, look at the most essential uh, uh, structural elements in the sentence. And then I'll provide some vocabulary that you may need, and then we'll sort of work through it. So so no matter what area of research that you're working in, this it'll benefit benefit you because you'll understand uh, more, more or less how sentences are structured, and, and you'll have a chance to, to work through them as as we are working through them together. So here we go. Let's read some out, out loud if you want to. And uh, starting from here in Dame. So uh, let's see, I'll read some and then Terry, if you want to repeat after me, and then everyone would, would read, you all can read with Terry. So here we go. In dem wir es hier mit der religionsgeschichtlichen Denkweise nur in dem Sinne zu tun haben. Everybody, go ahead. In dem wir es hier mit der religionsgeschichtlichen Denkweise nur in dem Sinne zu tun haben. Good. Um, okay. Then going on. Wie sie von der Theologie angeeignet worden ist. Everybody. Wie sie von der Theologie angeeignet worden ist. Good. So, um, Remember that the THs are always pronounced like a like a just like a T, so theologie, theologie, and the G's are always hard. Angeeignet worden ist um, und angeeignet werden konnte. Everybody. Und an, und angeeignet werden konnte. Good. Okay. Let's go. Let's go from there. But actually, as you scan this sentence, uh, we always try to identify what the subordinate clauses are and where the uh, the, the main clause is. The main clause is, is something that you can actually put a period after. So this is it right here, in fact. Ist schon gesagt. It is already said, um, simply. And then in dem uh, introduces a subordinate clause, also as V does also. And here's another one introduced with das. So often it, it's, it's very important to understand where the, the main clause is because the other parts of the sentence sort of are syntactically uh, dependent upon that and related to it. Okay, this is a long sentence that goes all the way down to here, but we'll we'll work through it uh, nicely. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see. So where where's the verb complex of the first subordinate clause, um, Terry? Zu tun haben. Yeah, zu tun haben. So and then the subject is wir. Wir. So we have to do. Uh, with so here here's where it picks up here with with and uh, we're going to go with the title uh, with this long adjective um, as it's as it's stated here which which is um, the uh, history of religion uh, manner of thinking so history of religion although this is really a, a noun here religion religion and geschichtlichen is an adjective but history of religion is fine so let's see um, in that we uh, have to do with here, uh, with, and then you want to go on from there, with the, with the history of religion, uh, manner of thinking, mm -hmm. only in, uh, only in the sense of of the manner of thinking. Yeah, only in that sense. So this is a, a dame, which is one of those uh, demonstrative pronouns, uh, which is going to be picked picked up later. Uh, and it's sort of anticipating what comes next. So only in that sense, so emphasized, as it, and then what, what is it, what's the antecedent of it, uh, Terry, and everybody? So as I'm asking uh, Terry the question, I'm hoping that you all, as and listening, will uh, also try to focus in and, and try to 
answer the question too. So don't answer too quickly. Allow everyone to, to provide the answers too. As it, so then what is this? What's the antecedent for this? Uh, Denkweis. Denkweis, as uh. it. And remember that um, the antecedent, uh, that this pronoun uh, has to agree in gender and number with its antecedent. So this is feminine and singular, as it. If this were a masculine, it would be uh, the air, or if it's neuter, it would be the s. Okay, as it, i.e., the manner of thinking. And then uh, where's the verb complex there? Um, angeeignet worden ist. Yeah, eingeeignet, eingeeignet worden ist. So, and this is um, a perfect uh, passive. It has been appropriated as, as it, the, the, the manner of thinking has been appropriated and and then there's another one and as it could be appropriated uh, from from theology so that's that's such a condition exists is already said is shown gesagt so here's your main clause and then here it introduces another one it is already said that we and then where's the verb complex there terry and everybody so, so haben. yeah that we have to speak or we, and to sprechen haben, we serves sort of a sense of we ought to speak, or we it, it is to be spoken. So that that we uh, have to speak uh, from it, um, and then the 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 uh, antecedent is, again is denkweise because it's um, feminine. That we have to speak from it here only to the extent that, and this is sort of like uh, where you had in dame. So to the extent that, uh, to what extent? Is going to be picked up again in the next clause. This is one of these long sentences that that have one subordinate clause after another. But the, it's uh, it's good to get used to these because German has a lot of these, don't you think, Terry? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, great. Okay, that we um, that we have to speak uh, from it here only to to that extent as it again the, the what manner of thinking and then where's the verb complex? Let's see. It just is. Yeah, is and then oftentimes you have a uh, here's a predicate. Uh, I mean a a, a, um, a predicate adjective that it is reconcilable with um, with with a personal affirmation of the religious life, and especially with the uh, affirmation of the Christian uh, world of ideas. Idee and Welt. Good. So it's a compound noun here, Welt, die Welt, and this is uh, ideas, plural. Okay. Let's see. Um, nicely done. Let's go to the next one. And uh, let's go up to here first. Let, let's read some if, out loud from here. So, wir scheiden also alle rein skeptischen. Everybody? Wir scheiden also alle rein skeptischen. Positivistischen und illusionistischen Theorien aus. Positivistischen und illusionistischen Theorien aus. I think you did better than I did. Uh, <laughs> die sich das religionsgeschichtliche Denken unterworfen haben. Die sich das religions Geschichtliche Denken und Worfen haben. Yeah, let's stop right there. These long sentences. Okay. Okay. So, what goes with Scheiden, Terry? Um, aus. Aus, good. So, whenever you aus. see a, a verb, but especially when you see a, 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 um, a, um, a prefix or, or, a, a, or a preposition at the end of a clause, that is before a comma or at the end of the period, then you always have to think, well, does that really is that really part of the verb? So, um, how scheiden is to eliminate. Uh, scheiden is sometimes just to just differentiate. But out, whenever you add a, a preposition, it always changes the meaning of the verb. So we uh, eliminate, and then also is a, is a false friend. It's not really also. It means thus, just like also sprach Zarathustra. Thus, thus spake Zarathustra. Mm. <laughs> um, so we eliminate, therefore. And then you want to go on from there? All, oh, all purely skeptical, positivistic, and illusionistic theories. Great. Fantastic. So uh, Terry very ni very nicely uh, tra uh, translated this as a 
adverb, which it is. Now, remember, adverbs have no endings. Uh, so this is a purely modifying each of these three adjectives that follow. Um, these theories, which now, uh, what's the verb? Uh, what, what's the verb of that um, relative clause? Um, let's see, seek and dwarfen haben. Very nicely done. So she picks up the always remember to include the reflexive pronouns as part of the verb complex, just just like this. Okay, and this means. Um, th this means to have um, uh, to have submitted to submitted one to or or to to actually to have have accepted. So that's how this works in this case. Um, so uh, which which have accepted this uh, uh, study of this uh, history of religion thinking. Denken is an infinitive made into a noun, so it's the um, gerund. We say thinking, and and uh, affirm on the other hand those interpretations, uh, which and then where's the verb in this clause? Let me see. That's uh, saying. Yeah, saying. Which see, and then you look for a direct object. Where's your first direct object? Oh goodness, let's see. Um, portrait. Uh, yeah. So oh, no, uh, die Offenbarung. Die Offenbarung. This is the the, the revelation, which yes. see, um, the, re um, which see you could say in in religion, the the revelation of the deepest. The st is the superlative, right, Terry? Yes. Which see, uh, the, the revelation of the deepest truth, and um. And 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 which also see uh, then the, ne the next direct object is what <laughs> portrait <laughs> portrait the progress and which also which see the the progress in in its development uh, it and its progress to a purified religious uh, insight so that, that's that's a long uh, if you can understand all the thoughts that are expressed in that paragraph you're you're a genius uh but but this this is the way that we take apart these sentences and uh thanks thanks so much for um joining us for this session and, and hope you enjoy it uh come back and uh and join another session later on thanks so much take care bye-bye